And if I go back to the Windows Security Center and go to Virus and Protection, we can see that Defender has evaporated. One command and Windows Defender is gone. Let me show you how that can be done. By the way, this video is for educational purposes only and it will teach you on how to prevent something like this from happening to you. Let's get started. So here's the tool that I will be talking about today, which is Defend Not, which is the successor of a previous tool called No Defender that was unfortunately taken down. And this tool basically works by taking advantage of a hidden Windows Security Center feature or the WSC, which is a feature that's used by antivirus programs to let Windows know that we will be taking charge of the real-time protection feature. If you have installed an antivirus program on a Windows machine before, you would notice that it will disable Microsoft Defender automatically. So the main reason for this is to prevent the operating system from running two security tools at the same time. Keep in mind that when this tool came out, it wasn't detectable by Windows Defender. But now, a couple weeks later, it is unfortunately detectable. So to make it work, all we need to do is to disable the real-time protection. But I still wanted to show you this tool because if hackers combined it with the antivirus bypass technique that I covered on my Patreon page, they could disable Defender without the user having to manually turn off real-time protection. And I am already in the Windows Security window and you can open this by searching for security and click on Windows Security and then click on Virus and Threat Protection, go to Manage Settings and turn off real-time protection. Now to run the tool, we can either download the repository and run the defend not loader manually, or we can use one of these one-liners, which basically tells PowerShell to download and run the remote code hosted in this URL. And if you want to check the code that's hosted on this URL before running it, open up a PowerShell window and do IRM and the domain name, in this case is called dnot.sh, hit enter, and here we can see the installer script for defend not. And this code can also be found in the GitHub repository under install.ps1. You can double check, it's the same thing at the time of recording this video, by the way. All right, let's clear the screen and I will copy the one-liner that allows us to customize the antivirus name, which is this one. Let me actually run PowerShell with administrative privileges. Here we have it and simply paste in the command that we just copied and I will change the name to Maythoom. So we are telling PowerShell to first download a PowerShell script from the internet by doing IRM HTTPS dnot.sh. Then we are doing script block create which turns the text into executable code and finally we are giving it the and symbol which tells PowerShell to run the code that's between these two parentheses, this and this. And once that code runs, we are passing the parameter with it, which is the dash dash name. And this will tell it to customize the name of the fake antivirus program. Hit enter and give the scripts couple of seconds to run. And awesome, it finished successfully. And if I press on any key, it will close the terminal. And if I go back to the Windows Security Center and go to Virus and Protection, we can see that Defender has evaporated. And because of that, this machine is now vulnerable to run literally any malicious code. So hackers can now run whatever malicious code they want to steal all the data that's on this machine with nothing to stop them. Now to protect yourself from this type of attack, you cannot rely on Windows Defender, so get a reputable third-party antivirus program that can help prevent something like this from happening. And always keep the Defender real-time protection enabled. I disabled it in this case because we're testing it. And obviously don't download and install random files from untrusted sources, because that's one of the main reasons why people get hacked, to be honest. Also, if we come back here and check the task scheduler, we will immediately see a defend not task. So it's not super stealthy as you can see, but it still functions as it should by disabling Windows Defender. That's why it's so attractive for hackers to use tools like this. So I will simply right click this task and hit on delete. And now to disable defend not and to restore Windows Defender, simply go back to the command that we just ran, which is this one, and simply replace the named parameter with dash D. This will tell the script to disable defend not. Hit enter. And now we are back to Windows Defender with real-time protection turned on. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and learned something useful from it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.